and he said, uh, he said, he said, <laughs> sorry, I don't know if you've heard of it. Yes, um, <laughs> sorry, there's a big heavy name drop there, but it, 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 I did. Um, Very close friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's going to employ you on the next one. Um, but uh, he, uh, he said, I think you've been writing this since 1972. Um, and, uh, but in fact, the, uh, I guess it was the lockdown. I started writing this on March the 23rd of last year, if I remember it. Uh, this, this had been brewing for a long, long time, long, long time, and I didn't know how to do it. But the, you know, the lockdown started to um, just, uh, well, I'm sure for everybody here, um, teach you whether you liked it or not about, about things that were precious, that were simple, that had been taken away, and that, uh, uh, oh, sorry. very simple thing is you're very happy and then in a minute uh, you're very it's very difficult to deal with everything that uh, came up people have had this in their lives a, a million times and that's what and that's what happened to me back then so the beginning of lockdown sort of ignited that 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 that, that feeling and i just wanted to sort of chart the way in which you could in as far as i understood it in that situation uh, navigate your way through all of that um, uncertainty and and how you could try and do it uh, as a you know, as a nine-year-old kid who had loving family and movies, and, and, a, and a great big life on the street, and so uh, you know, the, the lockdown sent me sent me back there. And I started. I wrote the first day's work, and I came back, and I put the telly on, and Boris Johnson said, "You're all locked down," um, and, and, and so it began. And then it was like down in a sort of flurry after that. Fantastic work. Um... Your character uh, as, as the father is, is critically important in the film. One of the things I found most uh, powerful is his absence, the, the fact that he has to go away uh, and his son isn't always sure when he's going to be there and those moments become especially precious. I wanted to ask maybe both of you about that character and, and kind of, you know, where that comes from, the, the idea of a, a father who's, who for work, for economic reasons, for the, all the reasons that Northern Ireland has to deal with, he's just not there a lot of the time, and when he is there, it's, it's kind of this concentrated time, concentrated emotion, and then for you, Jamie, what it's like to play that, where there's so much invested in when the father is present? Um, you know, I think the reality of that is Belfast has always been a very difficult place to live. Like, from the dawn of time, Belfast is just you're riddled with um, complications and uh, you know I think Pa there's like a recognition of someone who is faced with difficulties trying to be, do the best thing for his family and sometimes that means sacrifices and it's the same uh, for me now even not living there anymore I understand I'm a father of three girls and um, I have to say goodbye to them I haven't seen them in 11 days which is the longest I haven't seen them in two years because of everything going on um, and I think I have a real understanding of what that is to, um, you know, go away for the, often for the benefit of the family, to work, to provide, to every single step I do since becoming a father of my career is for them. That's all I really care about, you know, um, and it's, that's relatable once you become a father, you know, it's a thing I'm really recognized in, in Pa is that, you know, this is someone who is in a difficult city, in a difficult time. Jesus, he didn't know how difficult the time was about to become. But he's already away doing what he thinks is best for the family, for the furtherment of the family, for the betterment of the family. And, um, and that, that means sometimes hardship, that means saying goodbye, that means absence. Um, and I recognize that, I'm aware of that, I, I, that's, I live that. So um, yeah, it was something I was, um, you know, keen to to draw into because it's something that resonated with me too. It was poignant tonight, actually, uh, seeing the uh, those two uh, brochures go down for Sydney and for Vancouver. Um, <laughs> and uh, I 
I don't know whether people here are, are um, you know, old enough. There's lots of pleased to say lots of young people here, but uh, old enough to uh, know about this assisted passage scheme. Uh, my father was a joiner, was a master joiner. So for t literally for ten pounds, uh, through the good offices of your great country, there was an invitation, you know, in the sixties. Uh, to come here and be part of strengthening you know that workforce for the, the the infrastructure that was growing for various projects around this great nation and um so it was it was very touching to see that as as part of the um you know the way the ways in which basically how how can you survive with what little tools you have and this very difficult decision between a, a big life in an extended family where you just i guess that's where i came to it you, it, what i felt was you knew where you were and the lockdown, I think, I think it provided a lot of introspection for a lot of us, didn't it? And, and quite a big questions about identity, about who, who you were. That time in Belfast was the last time I really felt I knew who I was, how, you know, where I absolutely belonged. So for them, I swear to God, Canada was, it might as well, as she says, it might as well have been going to the moon. These were places that were really, I mean, just in, incredible to, 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 to think of. And yet they were absolute beacons of possibility for, for um, families like that, in order to try and avoid what you're talking about, you know, to not be separated all the time, to be together somewhere where you you make that big potential sacrifice between a life where you know exactly where you are and this this thing that is also part of the DNA of trying to do the right thing as far as you see it for your kids.